everybody welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is Emma and it's lovely to see you I'm a busy working mum of two and I um, am a self-confessed charity shop addict and I'm back with another charity shop haul if you didn't see my last haul then I will link it in the description box below um, this haul probably isn't as impressive as that one in that there are no white company dressing gowns in this one you know I'm very sad to say but nevertheless I thought you'd be interested to see what's available if you have a really good route in your local charity shops uh, I live um, probably about 12 or so miles from Chester so that's where I tend to do my the majority of my shopping so without further ado let's get on with the first thing so the first thing that I bought is this book, which I bought for my daughter and I got it home and she informed me that she'd already got it. Um, these are brilliant. These are the Utterly Me. This is, um, sorry, not Utterly Me. This is Clarice Bean and the book is called Utterly Me. And Clarice Bean, they're all by Lauren Child, who I think does all the Charlie and Lola books. And I, I love Charlie and Lola. They make me laugh. But it's just completely and utterly... Un, you know, you can tell when a book hasn't been read and it's really sweet and that was the grand total of 49 pence. So, and I think that retails at about oh, 8 99 So, and it's in perfect condition. So I am going to put that in our um, presents box. I haven't got a present box, I've got a shelf in the wardrobe. <laughs> I'm going to pop it on the shelf um, along with a few other bits and pieces that I've bought to give away as presents. And the next part that she goes to, we're all set with our 50p book. So that's that. And then the next thing that I bought was also a book, but for me. And this is the Miranda Heart, Peggy and Me. Now, I love Miranda. Um, I feel a bit like I live my life a little bit like Miranda in some ways. I'm always doing stupid things and saying stupid things and embarrassing myself. So, um, and this is about Miranda and her dog. Now, I'm not, I haven't got a dog and I'm not, I'm not really into dogs, but I like Miranda. And again, for like a pound or whatever it was, I just, oh, it was two pound. But it's a hardback book. And again, it's one of those, you know, it, you can just tell that has never been read it's never been opened so and I just thought I really like her and I've read her other um like her autobiography which I can't remember what it's called but I have I have got it um so I thought that's probably a nice book to care up with so um and anything you know that makes you laugh on a dark winter's night so I'll give that a go and I'll, I'll report back and let you know how I get on with that one then the next thing I bought was um, these, which are Jack Wills, all sealed, body lotion and body wash. And they are the velvety, oh, English velvet smell. I've got no idea what they smell like um, because they're all sealed and they were 50 pence each. And I Google stuff because I always Google stuff and they're like £10 each. So again, they are something that's probably going to go either in my holiday bag for when we go away or on my in, in my holiday box in my um to give away box uh shelf thing so that we can um have presents for you know when when you think oh shit it's somebody's birthday then you've got an instant present so that was that and then the next thing i have bless her heart i've had to rip this off her back just this is a little top. I've got um, an eight-year-old daughter. So this was um, from originally from Gap. This was a pound. And it says, live boldly, be beautiful, and love always. And it's full of sequins. I have to be quite careful with her because she's really sensitive about sequins and things on her body. But it's got, you know, like the cover stuff underneath so that it doesn't rub too much. So um, I thought, well, for a pound, that will suit her absolutely brilliant and she's had that on today we've been into town and she's worn that so we've actually both sparkled together there um so that's that and then the next thing that I bought was also for her and it was this jewels top um with the is that a what is it a flamingo <laughs> I was gonna say is it a swan of course it's not a swan um a flamingo in a woolly hat. Who doesn't love a flamingo in a woolly hat that's sparkly? If I could get myself into this, I would. Um, so, and it's got the little Jules sign at the back and the little Jules bunny. And I've taken the label off, but that was £1.50. 
£1.15, that was from Cancer Research, they were both from Cancer Research, and that is actually aged 11 to 12, but you know, long, she can wear it long with leggings, and she absolutely loves it. So the only thing I did notice when I got home is, there's a little hole just there, under the little pit, so I'm going to get my needle and thread out um, later, and I'm going to mend. I'm going to mend it like a proper mum and wife should. Um, <laughs> and then... The next thing is for my son. He actually bought these for himself. Well, we bought them for him, but we were with him. He, my son is 17 and a musician. And we bought him, the, well, he bought, he saw this in a charity shop, which is Martin and Company, which is, they make guitars, apparently. And he's got a Martin guitar. So he was absolutely delighted when he found this. And that was one ninety nine. So, and he's absolutely made up with that little purchase. He absolutely loves it. Um, and then, you see, that's the thing. You just, you have no idea what you're going to find when you walk in there. You know, and if you'd have been looking for a, a, um, a Martin t-shirt, you would never would have found one. But you just never know what's going to spring off the shelves. And then the other thing he bought is this which is a Mickey Mouse original and it says Disney Walt Disney World so I'm assuming it's like been bought in the, in Florida at some point it's absolutely knackered it's threadbare almost but he loves stuff like this and it's like because it's a bit vintagey he's gonna wear it ironically apparently <laughs> so um yeah so and that was three pound I think but he's tried them both on and he absolutely loves them and do you know what if it makes him happy and I'm not having to spend 70 quid on a designer top for him then I'm quite happy with that and he'll only wear it for college and bumming around the house in so we're, we're all happy so and he's absolutely delighted um the next thing I bought was actually for me and it was this which is inside out so let me just turn it the right way da, da, da. and it's a, a top a linen oh god um like a linen flouncy top and it's got um turned up sleeves and it's got sequins that go sort of down the shoulder seam and then there's a little pocket and it's sort of shortish and at the front and then long at the sides and I like, my, I really like anything that's tie-dyed. I love linen, I love grey, love sparkles, as you can tell. Da, da, da. Um, so I liked that. That was £3. Now, I have, uh, I've got a bit of a, a problem in that I don't quite know sometimes who I'm trying to be. And by that I mean... I've got loads and loads of stuff in my wardrobe that's linen and that's what they call the Largan look and I've got baggy linen trousers and I've got oversized linen dresses and long necklaces and things like this and and I wear them and I feel like I should work in some sort of art studio or be a social worker and I've got scarves and, and I float round and you know, I feel like I should have some sort of dreadlocks and become a vegan. And I fit, <laughs> and um, and then, on the other hand, I wear things like this. And I love wearing things like this. Like the jewels kind of look, the harbour tops and, you know, jeans and knee-high boots and that sort of, not quite preppy, but like you, you've got a horse that you've lost somewhere, you know, that you're off to the stables to feed. Um, that sort of look and I you know I don't quite know I love both looks and I, I feel like I need to pick a side because I don't quite know I love them both and I, I said you can wear both and I know that but you know sometimes when you're like you just need to pick a style and stick with the style but I like both and I just I get a bit like Oh, I'm, and, and I wear things like this and I think, no, I'm going to, I don't know why I grabbed my, <laughs> my breasts. <laughs> I wear things like this and I think, yeah, th this is me, this is me. I'm going to try this on for you after because this is me as well. But this is like the social worker, vegetarian me. And this is the, you know, hunting 
going on a hunt, me. I don't, I don't know, it's weird, isn't it? Anyway, and the last item of clothing that I bought, I actually bought this in, this could have gone in last month's haul, but I totally and utterly forgot about it. Um, but it's this. I found it, not found it, but I, I looked in my wardrobe and thought, oh, I bought that and forgot about it. And it's that, which I grant you, probably does look a bit disgusting and it's got massive big sleeves. But when it's on, and because I'm a, a Gemini, apparently yellow's my colour. So if you just imagine that, you, I mean, you can see it, can't you? And that, <laughs> did you hear my knee then? My knee sounds like a bag of marbles. I swear to God, I'm going to have to have a new knee at some point in my life. I digress. Um, I'm going to try that on as well. And that's lovely. Um, the downside, I think that was, oh, sorry, did I say that was £3? This was £3 as well. The downside to this is it's the kind of jumper that you need to wear when you haven't got to wear a coat and we just haven't had that sort of weather. So and you can't wear a coat just because of them, because they're massive and there's no coat I own that's, that's got sleeves that will go over that. So it's just one of those tops that you need to be able to, maybe more in the spring, but I thought with a nice denim jean or a denim skirt maybe, um, or on holiday, you know, of an evening when it's a bit chill, it's probably probably a bit wintry colours for summer. Does that sound a stupid thing to say because it's bright yellow? But um, yeah, so I think it's probably going to be more of a winter thing and the neckline on it's really nice as well. Um, so that's it. I'm just going to have a slip of tea. Or oh, did I go a bit boss eyed then when I came forward? <laughs> Final thing, I think. Right. So, being from, did you get a sneaky peek there? Being from Stoke, as a few of you may know, um, do love a bit of pottery, and I collect Emma Bridgewater. Helped mainly because a member of my family actually works there. So I went to a craft and antique restoration centre a few weeks ago, my daughter was at a party. I had a couple of hours to kill and went and had a mooch round. And I saw this, which is a teapot, which says Emma Mary Rice in 1988. Now, anybody who knows anything about Emma Bridgewater will know that she married, em, she was Emma Mary Bridgewater. And in 1988, she married Matthew Rice and became Emma Mary Rice, although obviously all her business is Emma Bridgewater, in 1988. And I saw this and thought, I'm sure that's Emma Bridgewater, but on the bottom, is that upside down? It just says MR. And I thought, Mary Rice, Margaret Rice? Well, I've no, I've no idea, and obviously, without an Emma Bridgewater stamp, I was a bit flummoxed. So I thought, well, I really like it, and on the other side it says her pot. And I just love the shape of it. And I love, it's just absolutely perfect. And I thought, really love it. And it was £10, I think. So I bought it home. And I've got an Emma Bridgewater book. And I had a look in the book and I discovered that this is an Emma Bridgewater style teapot that was um, created as part of the Westfield collection. In 1988 and that collection was um, oh God I can't think of the word um, Prince Charles wanted it making anyway or something like that so this is actually a prototype the not the shape the pattern so it's the Westfield shape was it Waterfield Waterfield shape sorry the Waterfield shape and this is a prototype pattern that never actually made the grade but this is painted by Matthew Rice, who was her husband. Um, obviously, they've now split up, so just give it away, <laughs> as you would. I'm sure it's not been sat in a kitchen, I don't know where it's been. But for £10 of anybody's money, it's a little bit of history, it's a little bit of gorgeousness, and a lovely pourer. 
So I was absolutely thrilled and my teapot has been the talking point of um, a Facebook group to do with Emma Bridgewater er, the early years and, um, and on Instagram it caused a little bit of um, a furore as well. So, um, but yeah, so I just thought that was absolutely and utterly gorgeous. So I have it on show in my kitchen and I have it that way, her pot. And I just absolutely blooming love it. And it was £10. So not so much from a charity shop, but the same sort of thing, like a, a crafty, sensory thing. Um, but yeah, so that was that. So I absolutely loved it. So what I'm going to do now is just to try on these couple of tops for you, just to show you what I mean. Like, I'll try on the social worker one first and then the jumper. And, um, and just uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. And let me know what your favourite thing was. Um, so I'm just going to try everything on. So this is the first top. So I love it. I love it's got that little bit of sparkly detail just there and there. Which is really showing in the light. Um, so it's, it's a really nice length. And I suppose you could, you know, do that sort of, oh dear, French tuck thing that people do. Like that. I don't know. And then I've just teamed it with a, a, a necklace that I tend to always wear. But yeah, so I really like that. I'll go back a little bit for it. So that's just with skinny jeans. So, but I, I do love it. But I feel like I'm going to go and give someone some sort of counselling about something do you know what I mean but I do love it I love this look I love this whole lagen look so that's that anyway and then I'm going to show you the jumper okay and that's the jumper so I just I love that it's one of those jumpers that actually looks a lot nicer on than it does off and I love the colours and I would never put pink and orange together although Trini or is it Susanna Thin one. That's <laughs> you know what I mean? I love it's Trini, isn't it? The the yeah, the thinner one. Sorry, Susanna. Because you're beautiful too. Um yeah, but she always puts pink and orange together and says how ace they look together, and I've always kind of been a bit um, I think if it's just pink and orange, I'd be a bit but I like the fact that it's the other colours as well. And I, I, I hope I don't look like like um some sort of overgrown bumblebee. But yeah, but do you see what I mean about the sleeves? There's just no way you could ever wear a coat, is there? But I love them. I just think that's that's really, really nice. And that was, again, that was £3. So, you know, that's fantastic. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed my weird ramble through my um, charity shop haul. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Lots of love. Bye.